Hello everyone, welcome back to Journey with Char on this lovely Monday. I pray all is well in your neck of the woods. And I also pray and hope you all had a wonderful weekend. As I come to you today, as you can see, she's at it again. I have a Pioneer Woman Haul, my most recent purchases. And some of the items, well, one of the items I really um, was so happy to get my hands on, which is that big old stock pot over to the far left, you all. So we're going to get into this. I'm gonna, not going to talk too much and hold you up. All right, you all. So let's get to it. The first thing we're going to show here, I have been wanting these little um, mini spatulas because we just do not realize how we need spatulas of all sizes, y'all. When you are a cook, there's big spatulas, there's wide spatulas, there's long spatulas with a long tip that gets all of the stuff out of the can or bowl or whatever you're trying to use. And then you got these little ones that you want to use for a smaller um, project. And I just said, you know what? I'm just going to go on and get these. I saw these. They're absolutely beautiful. Look at the prints. That's why we love the Pioneer Woman again, y'all, because she gives us these beautiful, happy prints. This one is the mini spatula set, and it's eight inch. That's the size of each one. And it's got the wood handles, and I'm sure that's acacia wood she's using. She has her Pioneer Woman stamp, signature Pioneer Woman stamp is on there on the handle. And just the colors are just absolutely beautiful. They're happy and just make you want to get in that kitchen and just cook away, all right? And uh, let's see, is this acacia wood? Let's see. Yes, it's acacia wood. I know she always uses acacia wood. And then it's silicone, of course. That is the tip. It is silicone. So these little guys are going to really be um, put to great use for me because I said to myself the other day, I was cooking something. I said, okay, I have a tiny spatula, but I need one a little bit more bigger. So when I went into Walmart, saw these, I said, I'm going to go on and purchase them now before they're gone. But aren't they pretty? Look at the florals the different prints that looks really vintage, that middle one. And then I just love the blue and the yellow flowers with the pinks. It's just so pretty. I will put the link down below to all of these items, you all, and you can go directly. I, I did the shortcut for you. All you gotta do is hit the show more, it will expand and you will see every single product that I'm showing in this video the link and it could take you directly to it and you don't have to go on Walmart's website and search for it. I did it for you. All right, ladies. So don't forget that. All right. So that is the cute mini spatulas, the fancy flourish. All right. The next thing we have here, of course, I love her paper goods. So I saw this the other day and these are just really good just for when me and mom want some fruit, salad, um, whatever. It's paper, whatever you can put in here that won't soak through. So yes, mom and I love her little paper goods. So this one has a really pretty print. It's just got a pretty country look to it to me. Let me see. I know you get eight of them, but I don't know what print this is. I don't think she's saying what print it is. But yes, they're so pretty. So I got one of those because mom and I have been looking for paper bowls. And I said, we need to get some paper bowls. Okay, so the other day I ran into these, y'all. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I have a lot of her paper plates. And yes, they're all floral, but they're different. You guys, you put them all together, you will see the difference. I love her Christmas and her Thanksgiving. I have all of those. And her uh, spring and summers, you can use these year round, especially for like Mother's Day brunch or just for a woman's Bible study. People coming over, honey, get these pretty paper plates out. And I tell you, they would just think, oh, she went out, child. It's just two fifty. <laughs> I think these are like two fifty at um, Walmart, but they're so beautiful, y'all. Look at the print. Who doesn't love flowers? It's bouquet of flower on each end. It's a beautiful 10 inch. I think it's 10. It might be 11. Yes, 11.5 inch plate. You get eight of these for a whopping 250. All right, you can't beat that. And then also I got the tablecloth, y'all. All right, yes. This doesn't match, but I, I like, you know, it's not, I do have the set that matches this, but what I love is this is the Pioneer Woman tablecloth. And at the base of an undermount, it is silver. And she is using it today to show y'all all these pretty Pioneer Woman things. But this is really pretty. If you go in the birthday section, they do have her birthday um, stuff out too. And this I found in the birthday section always, all right? And speaking of birthday, let's show the candles, y'all. I had no idea Pioneer Woman had candles. So the other day we were at another Walmart. You know how you can go to another Walmart and have a whole different 
um, Pioneer Woman Collection. You looking like the woman collection you have never seen before. <laughs> so we were in Walmart and you all look what I found. These candles are absolutely beautiful. They're birthday candles and they're so pretty. You get 12 of them. So I got like three of these packages and just look at the candles. And they're long. I love those long birthday candles. And I can just see this on any kind of cake where you're celebrating someone. And just, oh, it's just so pretty. I just absolutely love it. All right, so we're going to set this to a side. Let me bring my drink because, yes, I am drinking mine. Let me tell y'all, this is, my. what's in this drink? This is cayenne pepper, cinnamon, olive lemon, olive oil, and honey is what's in this drink. <laughs> Yeah, it's on the wall. So we drink it every morning. <laughs> we drink it. All right. I don't know what it does, but it works. Okay. So anyway, the next thing I have here, I want to show you all this one. Get this out of the way. All right. So you all, I just took everything out so that you're not hearing all of the um, cleaning and stuff. All right. So let's get started. I saw this set. Now they did have one and it had the cow in front. I did not want the cow in front. So I was like, why don't she ever do one where it's not the animal in front? I love the cow, but I didn't want cow on everything. So she did. I'm going to leave you alone, Bree. Okay. She did. She said, girl, I'll give that option for you. <laughs> this is the set. It is so so beautiful. I absolutely love those beautiful little red and yellow bouquet. It's so lovely and it has like a vintage print. Do y'all see that? It's so vintagey, if that's a word at all. And so, yes, it's the ones where like this is really, this is not going to come off. Now, but if I take this, it still doesn't give easy. Hold on. You remove the top part, it does come off after you remove the the part that releases the air. So it does have rubber around the insert, which I do love. And this is what it looks like. You guys, it's so cute. You guys, it's so cute. Look at that print. Is that not the prettiest print? I absolutely love it. And it just reminds me of just vintage. I love things that look old. And it's stoneware. And you just, well, usually what you would do is just pump it and then you just close it and I can pick it up and that's not moving. So we love that. Okay, the next one oh, is the stunning print that we saw on one of the spatulas. I have a plate with this print too. It is so beautiful. And I don't know what the print is to this. I will see if I can find out. But y'all look at that. That's just old and just beautiful. This just looks like for a very long time. It's just, it will never, it's just timeless. It's just so pretty. It really is. And whatever you need to put in there, it's, it's going to work. And so this is the top to this one as well. So then you just put that top on, just put the air, get that air out to keep whatever is fresh going and put that top on. You're good to go. And it is stackable. As you saw that earlier when I, I took it, um, the set apart. Okay. So here we go with this beautiful the bigger one. <laughs> look at the print of that bigger one. Oh, I can't stand it. Let me just hit it up. Y'all look at the print. Look at the print of the bigger one. Is that not beautiful? That print is stunning. It's so pretty. I love the coral in the inside. The beautiful bouquet that's going all the way around. The blue and yellow on the side. And then when you come on, you get the same beautiful bouquet and the same so all the way around this unit is flowers and i just see i mean you can even serve in these these are not just for leftovers you can serve in these i wouldn't take these on a picnic because they're so heavy but definitely to serve to put out where people can serve themselves of course you can use it for leftovers and remember they do stack so you would put this one in the medium in you would put this one in on top of the medium put the top on and then yeah they all stack together but i'm not going to show you that right now as you can see you saw that earlier but just wanted you to see how they look right here together so pretty they're even just pretty stack like that in your countertop um, in, on in your um cabinets or on your in your pantry you may have a pantry wherever you decide to stack them look how beautiful that stack is it's so lovely 
It's just such that you wouldn't even want to put them away. They're so pretty. All right, so let's get to the cute little bakers. Now, I do have another set of her cute little bakers like these. These little bakers come in handy when you're having a big crowd and you want to make maybe some like individual meatloaves. I mean, that's a big meatloaf. They could take some home. But if you want to make meatloaves, individual meatloaves, you want to make individual little banana nut cakes, carrot cakes, whatever you decide to do, um, you can do that with these cute little loaf pans. You can be creative, whatever you decide to make in here. So anyway, y'all, look at the red one. Isn't that darling? That print is so pretty. And this one has that terracotta feel with this little um, leaf um, design. It feels like terracotta on these, on these sides. You can feel the texture difference, and it's smooth here. And it is very, to me, they're very Christmassy looking. These are so pretty. You can use them year round, even during the holidays. It's just so lovely. I absolutely love them. And then this one is the blue one. Okay. And you can hear it. Listen. See, it's got that terracotta feel. Only on the little leaf. This part is smooth. And I think that that's really cute. It's so beautiful. Isn't that pretty? Just so pretty. I just absolutely love re and her designs and you can just stack them away i like leaving these little things child so that um when i stack them keep those as long as you can those little inserts because they do help especially when you stack these away in your cabinets or in your um pantry you guys so cute all right so the next thing let's get to the stock pots all right so this stock pot let's pull this guy out so I have been keeping my eyes, I have been keeping my eyes, I have been watching this stock pot for the longest time. I did not know it was this big, I don't know why, because it says the measurements, but I was not really paying attention to how big it is. It is just a lovely stock pot, y'all. Look at that design, okay? The handles... Um, it's perfect grip when you have mittens on, of course, because this can get hot, all right? So you always use that, um, your hand gloves, your mittens, all right? But it has a nice um, pull out. Once you get your mittens, you can get a good grip in. I do like that. You can fit about two fingers, but with your mittens, you just want to grab it from here. And it's got that beautiful print like those right there. It's got that beautiful print that we just saw on this, but we just saw on that, on this, all of those are that lovely print. You guys, it's just a beautiful stock pot. And I think it was for 29, don't quote me. I will put the link down below. But I just fell in love with it. I just think it's really pretty um, for years to come. Just put it on your stove and just um, walk away and just let it sit there. After you've cleaned it, it's just a piece that you could just sit in the corner of your stove. And it's just pretty. It just adds flowers. I'm not one where I will put Pioneer Woman everything. This is just me. I like to mix and match different things in my kitchen. Um, I'm not one themed person. But I think what will be so beautiful is if you just have a beautiful stove range. And you have this sitting up there. And then you have, I, I think copper will go well with this. I love copper. I would even love for her to get one where she has it outlined in copper. Ooh, wouldn't that be beautiful, you guys? I'm such a big copper fan. But it's just beautiful. Just put this in and you walk in, you got a bouquet of flowers over in this corner. You have your beautiful stock pot over in that on the stove. Maybe two of them, which I have over here, I'm going to show you. And your countertops and it's just beauty. And when you go in the kitchen, it makes you just want to cook, makes you just want to make meals for people, <laughs> just make you want to store up, like do some canning and or just just I'm a kitchen girl. Does it seem like it to you guys? I do. I love the whole home, but I am. I'm a big kitchen girl. I like being in the kitchen. I, I said to myself, you know what? When I do finally get my home, I don't want an island. I literally want one of those long tables where I sit at the table and I can just congregate or just sit there by myself and just cut up vegetables and prepare or do some bread or dough or whatever. I'm that type. I love old, beautiful kitchens. Anyway, so let me get out of that. 
Because we love Pioneer Woman because she hits you with that vintage style look. And that's why I think I love her style so much. Nothing is like this up new. And there's nothing wrong with it. Those of you who like modern, I like modern things. Not not preferred to be in my home, but I love modern style. I just love country. I, I really do. I, I, my, my favorite is English country. I really do love English country. American country too, if that's what it's called. But anyway, let me get back to this. Isn't this beautiful, y'all? Just so beautiful. So I'm just going to turn it around all the way around. You get the same beautiful bouquet on each side, y'all. Just look at that bouquet. She's getting close. <laughs> she's gonna get close so you guys can see it and then look at this top it's good enough you got mittens on you can get a good grab and that's what i love um i've seen some where they're a little bit more loopy where you can get maybe even more fingers in but i can get a good three fingers in if it's if it's already cooled off and i need to lift the top or if i have a mitt this is and you know how mittens can be a little thick but they have some that are a little thin but still hold the heat where you won't get burned um it's a good grip okay so let's just see the inside this is the top of the top of course just your standard top of the top and then we're going to go in the inside and, get, and then we're going to go on the inside y'all and it's just your standard oh lord i can just see soups and stews and Oh, some greens in here, honey. Black eyed peas, <laughs> red beans and rice, some jambalaya, some who child. And let's get them. Let's 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 get the one that we will be putting the gumbo in. Okay, let's go and get the gumbo girl on over here. I don't know if it was early this year or last year. I did get one of her stock pots. I loved it, but I wasn't in love with it. And I said that's not the one I want. So I was looking online and found the one that I want. And I said, that's it. This one is the, y'all, the sticker, the um, little tag looks like that because I washed it and forgot to take the the, um, the tag off. But anyway, it did not come like this. The eBay lady, it was really nice how she, how she uh, got it off of eBay. And it was really nice how she packaged it and everything. And it was brand new and still is brand new, but I just got this wet. But anyway, so this is the uh, vintage floral 12, 12 quart stock pot. This is the one I wanted, and I said, oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Y'all, look at this. I'm, I'm just going to turn this around. Oh my goodness, this stock pot. So I did take the other one back is what I'm trying to say. I did return the other one, and um, I have this one now. And she's a beauty, isn't she? Isn't she pretty? That's one of her first designs she came out with was the vintage floral. And it is just stunning. And as you can see, they're totally different. But they're so pretty together. If you put them on your stove and that you just want them to sit out on your stove after you've cleaned them, they're pretty to just have set out on your stove. Isn't that lovely? And just look at the print. It's just stunning. And of course, you got your just your regular top. And then that's the inside. And it's deep, y'all. So let's get to the tag. Let's get to the tag and let's see. The material is, of course, enamel and steel. And this came out in 2022. And it's the 12 quart stock with lid. And that's more of the information if y'all can read that. I hope you can. Get right there where y'all can see what all it does. All right, because she can't see that. <laughs> but I, I just had to get it. I said, you got to be kidding me. She's absolutely beautiful and she's better than the one that I got. So I, I returned that one a long time ago and I just said, you know, I returned that one a long time ago and I said, I'm gonna have to look for another one of her stock pot, but I don't want the ones that she has out. Now she does have a teal one. It's all teal and it has this in the front. That one's pretty too, but the white background with that floral is just stunning. She has a Christmas one too, and that one's really beautiful too. It's hard to find, but you can find it on eBay if you're interested. But anyway, y'all look at this. I say the top reminds me of like Peacock. <laughs> so I'm going to turn the top around. There you go. And then she has that bouquet right at the top, which is just really makes this stunning. So I just see like big old thing of jambalaya in here. Oh Lord, big old thing of gumbo. Whatever you need to make that serves a lot, chow, you can go in here and really, really get down. And I love that. So I cannot wait to use that, but you guys, isn't she pretty? She's so pretty. I'm just so happy to have her. All right, so we have her Pioneer Woman magazine. I I saw this in the store the other day 
because you rarely see her is out here in California. You never see Pioneer Woman's magazines in the store. I did subscribe to her sometime and I never um, uh, uh, updated the subscription. I think I'm going to do that. But anyway, oop, there's one right there. So I can go ahead on and do it now. But anyway, so these are her um, what's inside. We love Pioneer Woman. I'm just going to show you guys. Her and her husband so cute. <laughs> really really cute okay and so um so we have that she's got a lot of uh red fall bingo <laughs> that's cute those are her girls don't they look like twins y'all they look like twins the girls look so much alike you know she always has a, a section in her book where she's showing you cute little sweaters or whatever um the season is i love that sweater though that one's really pretty and embroidery and stuff yes so she loves showing little cute little finds and those of you girls who love that look go in and see where she got it from and there you go so yeah this one's like that oh i love this that is beautiful piece and i like how they have the pictures on the walls above it that is just it's really pretty all right and then she's got all these delicious recipes here that you can go in and I flip, I, I pass some of the pages, but yeah, a lot of delicious recipes, more recipes here, of course, can't, and then some, I need to check out this book, but doesn't that look delicious? Mini salmon pot pies, mm, interesting, okay, and then she's got, of course, we're coming up to the butternut squash season, which I'm so excited about, are you guys excited about that? The butternut squash season and she's got her beautiful that cake of course it's a box cake uh think yeah it's a box cake hack i love box cake hacks i am not one that will say child i do scratch i do scratch too but honey when them box cakes need to be doctor up you can't tell the difference sometimes you won't be able to tell the difference with mine some people you can but not with mine but look at the parmesan chicken Ooh, delicious all of these delicious recipes, you guys. Chicken Parmesan soup. Oh, that, that just seems delicious. And then chicken Parmesan lasagna. She's got there. And cowgirls, cowboys. I guess the girl and the boy. That's really cute. What, what they would each want. And that's the recipe. Look at these different. Oh, look at this. This was olive cake. I thought that that was very interesting. Is that Charlie? Yes. Is two Charlies. What what are their names? Rocky and Fred can't get enough attention. Oh, she got two more. Rocky and Fred. Okay. All right. I don't know if Charlie has passed. I hope he hasn't. All right. So anyway, this is her magazine, you guys. And she always gives out great recipes in her magazines. I love her magazines. I'm going to um actually go ahead on and um subscribe to it because it's 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 been a while. They've been emailing me too, and I. I'm gonna have to go ahead on and subscribe back with um, Pioneer Woman. So that is her magazine. We have one more item. It's not Pioneer Woman, but you guys, y'all know I love my Dash waffle makers. Do not be alarmed or surprised. Now y'all know when she found out they had a little ghost. I had to get the ghost. I said, are you kidding me? Look how cute he is. He is so adorable. I'm just gonna open this. Well, let me show you on this end what it looks like i'll do a video where i'm making some like little brownie ghost or just some regular little ghost uh, pancakes but look like they have other ideas there that we're gonna see what they do but how cute is he look at his little face so we're gonna turn it around here so you guys can see what his little face look like isn't that cute so you can do it that way or you can do it full where you see the entire cake and just the ghost print out right there to decorate but I just thought that that was just too cute, okay? And they're at, I got this one, couldn't wait. And I got it from Sir Tob, I think for 11 something dollars. But child, it is at um, Target right now for $9.99. So you guys, make sure you go in if you're interested and get it because it's so adorable. The purple actually is a deeper purple than it is on the box, which is, I'm happy it's not lavender because Halloween purple is a deeper purple. It's a deeper purple than the lavender look on the box. It's more of a deeper. So if you guys want to see this, me make some little ghost um, waffles, comment down below. And if I get enough of you all saying, yeah, we want to see it, I would like to see it. 
then I'll make it. If not, then I will I will go past that because y'all probably say, child, we haven't seen enough waffle videos. <laughs> all right. Well, I just love it. That's me and my family. We love it. So anyway, you all, that is everything for this haul. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for tuning in to Journey with Char. And if this is your first time ever seeing my channel and you like what you see, please hit that subscribe button and make sure you hit the notification bell. Every time I upload a new video, it will alert you. You all can come and check me out and see what I am doing. Also, make sure you all please help support my channel um i'm trying to get it to get up in that um youtube algorithm you all so if you can give me a thumbs up that does help my channel um be pushed where more people can see it also when you um comment down below little do you know that helps um and i also like conversing with you all so please comment down below what was your favorite item that you saw in this haul today also and last but not least i do have another channel Shars Adventures TV. I will put the link down below. That channel, if you are interested and you love things Disney, vacations, um, amusement parks, um, family time, that channel is for that. So make sure you go head over to uh, Shars Adventures TV. I will put the link to that down below. And if you can help me grow that channel, that will help me out too as well. I really would appreciate it. All right, you all. So you all be blessed. Have a wonderful Labor Day and take care of one another. Be safe. And remember, always be kind and loving to one another. Kindness is health. It does. It's health to the body. Little do you know, being kind and positive thinking. All right, you all. Be blessed and remember, always trust God. Keep him first and he'll always lead you the right direction. Now I got to finish this drink. <laughs> I'll see you soon. God bless. Bye-bye.